Hey there, welcome back to our final video of the week. This is a recap of all the operations that we've talked about this week when it comes to solving equations. We've talked about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, and we talked about a very important vocabulary term called inverse operations. And the word inverse means opposite. And so when we think of the opposite operation, we have to look at the equation. For instance, let's look at this first equation. 236 equals 44 plus w. Now when we look at this, we see that the operation present in the equation is addition. But we are going to use subtraction to help us solve it. Now our goal here is to get that w by itself and move the other terms, the 44, over with the 236. And the way that we're going to do this is by using subtraction, as I mentioned. When you look at that 44, you think, well, that's a positive 44, right? So how am I going to get rid of it and get down to zero so that it's not really there anymore? Well, as I said, subtract 44. Do that to both sides. Remember, it's not fair just to do it to one. And remember, we also talked about how algebra is sort of like a pan balance. It's, you know, you got to balance it out. You got to do one to one side, same thing to the other. So 44 minus 44 cancels out. All that you're left with over here is W. Equal sign comes down. Now we take 236 minus 44. Six minus four is two. 3 minus 4, can't do it, but I keep it. Go to my neighbor and borrow one. Bring the, the one that I borrowed back over. 13 minus 4 is 9, and bring that one down. Now, I think my answer is 192, but let's check it to be sure. How are we going to check it? Well, we're going to substitute that value for W, 192, into the equation. So we're going to take 192, and we're going to add 44 to it. That is what the equation tells us to do, 44 plus W. And so since 192 was our value for W, that's what we substitute in. So 2 plus 4 is 6, 9 plus 4 is 13, and 1 plus 1 is 2. And as you can see, our original answer in the equation was 236. So we know that our value of 192 for W is correct. Let's move on to a subtraction problem now. The subtraction problem, uh, the subtraction equation, I should say that you see here, is A minus 32 equals 28. Now again, the inverse operation is the opposite operation of what we see. So if we have subtract 32, guess what we're going to do? Add 32. And again, we do that to both sides. Now, negative 32 plus 32 that will take you to zero. That cancels each other out. You're left with A. Bring that equal sign down. 8 plus 2 is 10. Regroup. 2 plus 3 is 5. Plus 1 is 6. I think my answer is 60, but let's substitute it in to be sure. 60 minus 32, and that should give us an answer of 28. 0 minus 2, can't do it, but keep it. Go to my neighbor, borrow 1. Bring it back. 10 minus 2 is 8. 5 minus 3 is 2. There we go. 60 is the correct value for A. Next example, we are moving into multiplication now. Now remember, you could do this just simply by dividing it by 8, but I always like to make my coefficient. A coefficient is when you combine a term, a number, with a variable. So we're going to take M times 8, and that will form 8M equals 56. All right, the goal is to get M by itself. So how are you going to do that? Well, as you can see in our first line of the equation, that is a multiplication problem. So we are going to divide. Divide. You divide by the number that is present there. So that cancels out. 8 divided by 8 is 1. That's 1M, isn't it? Yes, it is. 56 divided by 8 is 7. Now, substitute that back in. I really don't think we need to write it out. 7 times 8 is 56. We are correct. Last example. Again, like I said yesterday, it's almost so easy, it's like cheating. When you have S divided by 19, here's what you're going to do. Parentheses means multiply. So we're going to multiply it by 19. We're going to multiply it by 19. These just wipe each other out. S equals 
17 times 19, 323. Now, that's a big number. How do we know if we're right? Well, we're going to take 323. We're going to divide it by 19, just like the equation says to do. All right, so 32 divided by 19 is 1. 19 times 1 is 19. Subtract that. 2 minus 9, can't do it, but keep it. Go to my neighbor, borrow 1, bring it back. 12 minus 9 is 3. 2 minus 1 is 1. Bring down the 3. 133 divided by 19 is 7. 7 times 19 is 133. Subtract that, and we get 0. So that is the correct answer, 17, which means that our value for S of 323 is correct. All right, so thank you for tuning in this week as we took a look at some algebra problems. Uh, next week is our final week of videos. We are going to be taking a look, uh, you know, a look back at some of the skills that we looked at throughout this quarantine process. Um, we're going to basically do like a best of uh, top 10 ESPN countdown, if you will. Um, so we are going to kind of just recap a lot of the main skills that we covered that you will need leading into junior high for next year. So continue to do that work. Um, just because the weather's going to be getting nicer, um, you still got to get that work completed and turned in. Make sure you're looking um, for emails and announcements from your teachers and your principals about that. All right. Until next week, we'll see you later. Stay safe.